All right, guys, welcome to the first video of the series where we are gonna learn how your calculator works. So um, we are gonna be focusing on the three programs that are gonna be associated with finding areas. Uh, so go ahead and open up your program list with PRGM. These three programs are gonna be area quad, area try, and circle. So area quad is the program we wanna to use to find the area of quadrilaterals, so four-sided shapes. Area try is the program we're gonna to use to find the area of triangles. And area, or just a circle, is gonna be the program we do uh, really almost anything with circles. It's a pretty cool program. So let me just show you very quickly what each one of these is gonna have. Under the area quad option, if we hit enter and then hit enter again, we run the program. And it's just gonna ask you, hey, what shape do you have? A parallelogram would be something like a rectangle, a square, or one of those like slanty rectangles, like a rhombus or something. That would be a parallelogram. You will need the base length and the height to find the area. So if I run that program, it says, what's the base? Let's go ahead and take a look at a question like number one here. The base would be this blue portion. And so the base of this shape from a negative one to a four would be five units long. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say that the base is five. The height is the distance between the two bases or between the two flat portions. So that goes from a Y value of one to a Y value of four. So that height's gonna be three units. And we can see the shape's area is gonna be 15. Super duper duper simple. Those are really intuitive. Also, all your programs are gonna be frozen after you've run the last command. It's just gonna tell you to press enter. If you see three dots up here, or if you have the newer circle, it'll be a little, uh, if you have a newer calculator, there'll be a little circle that spins. Um, all you have to do to get out of this is just press enter one time. If you press enter again, it'll just rerun the program, and that's not what we wanna do. Now, while I'm here, let me go ahead and show you the other area quad option. The second one is for trapezoids. Remember that a trapezoid is gonna be a shape that has two bases, uh, like number five here. Question five is the is a trapezoid. Now, I'm not gonna solve question five, but if I wanted to find the area of a trapezoid, all it's gonna ask is what's the length of the base one? That could be the bottom. Maybe that's like 20 units. Base two would be the top. Maybe that's like 15 units. And then the height is again, the perpendicular height between the two bases. Let's just make up a number, we'll call that six. If these are the measurements for my trapezoid, they're gonna tell us that the shape's area is 100. Pretty easy stuff. The last option we have, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to rerun the program, is gonna be a kite. And so a kite, uh, these don't show up very often. They're really rare on the test. Uh, this is like the only example I've ever seen, but its formula was easy enough to program, so I put it in here for you guys. So you can see that in this example with the blue and the purple, you have two diagonals. The blue line and the purple line are the two diagonals. Uh, for the kite, you just need to know the length of those diagonals. So let's call diagonal 1, 28, the purple length. I'm going to let diagonal 2 be 40, the blue length. And if you know those values, you can find it. Now understand, especially for a kite, you might have to do something like Pythagorean theorem or some other you know, trick to find the lengths if they're not given. But if you can find those lengths, this program will help you figure that out. So that's everything that we need to know about area quad. Let's go ahead and jump over to area try. So area try is the program we're gonna use to help us find the area of triangular shapes. Now almost all of this is really intuitive. The two main ones that this program is going to help us with are right triangles and base height only triangles. We'll talk about this in a second. So for a right triangle, uh, all you need is the base, maybe it's 9, you need the height, maybe it's 8, the shape's area is 36. Super duper 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 simple. You just need to have those values. If you don't have them, find them and you'll be good. The other option here for area try is going to be the base height only option, which is option 3. And an example of a base height only triangle would be something like this guy, number 16. This white triangle, you know the base is 10, you know the height is eight. That's a base height only triangle. So if I was trying to find the area of that triangle, the base in this example is 10, the height, also known as the altitude, is an eight, and the area is gonna end up being 40. So again, as long as you know those values, it is super duper 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 easy to figure that out. Okay, the last thing that we can find from the area try program, or, or that you might want to try and find, is the area of a weird triangle. And a good example of a weird triangle is number 14. 
We can see in this example, they've given us a side 12, an angle 30, and a side 13. You might remember from your time in geometry that this is a side angle side triangle. Well, for a side angle side triangle, if you go to the, uh, the area tri program and you choose the second option, you're actually going to get a wrong program note. This program does not find the areas of those shapes. The program we're looking for is either try AAS, try ASA, try SAS, or try SSS. Those will be covered in a video later in the playlist. So just know if you're looking for the area of a funny triangle and a weird triangular shape like this, where you have angles, you're gonna probably, or you're definitely gonna wanna use those other programs. But at least now it's built into this program to tell you to go over there. So uh, that is everything we need to know about the triangles and the quadrilaterals. The last thing we have is circles. And so for circle, if I were to run this guy, it's just gonna say, hey, what are you given? Are you given the radius? Are you given the diameter? Are you given circumference? And are you given an area? This program is so nice because no matter what you've been given, it gives you everything else. Let's just say that you have the radius of a tri of a circle and maybe the radius is nine. Well, it's gonna tell you the diameter is 18, the area is 81 pi, as well as the decimal form, and the circumference, which is like the perimeter of the circle, that's 18 pi. This program is a one-stop shop for everything related to circles. If you need circle, uh, if you need circumference, area, radius, or diameter, this is the program you wanna run. To show you another quick example, let's just say that we were given a circumference, but instead of being given like 20 pi or 32 pi or something, maybe they just gave us 50. The circumference is 50, no pies or anything. If I just put in 50, it does all the math and it tells me the radius is 7.96, the diameter is 15.92, the area, they give us everything that we need to know. So this is your one-stop shop for anything circle related. Um, if you need a circumference, area, diameter, or radius, run the program. Now, there are notes on the area and the circumference options here. Like if I say, let's just say I know the area, and maybe they told me that the area is 121 pi. So area is 121. You do need to put in pi, and pi is found by hitting the blue second key and then the button below clear, the exponent button. And in doing this, it tells us the radius is 11, diameter is 22, circumference is 22 pi, etc. So again, a really nice one-stop shop for everything related, uh, yeah, everything related to circles. It's, it's kind of pretty great. So um, that is a brief introduction to the three programs that are gonna help you find anything area related. Area quad, area try, and circle. In the next video, we'll be talking about sequences. See you then.